good Chris Dobie. The moment you've dreamed of, the moment you've waited for, you are the Masters champion. Just sum up how you're feeling for us. Buzzing, man. Um, I think uh, I've played solid all uh, all week. Uh, finished well, and it wasn't the best in the final, but I think the little break helped me a little bit more than, than Rob, and I'm not going to lie. Um, I think I deserved it a little bit more, so no, I'm, I'm happy. You've waited for this moment, and you've been on the cusp of something special. We've seen you win Pro Tours, semi-finals, TV events. You told us you knew this moment was coming, and how did it feel when it actually happened? 100%. Um, I, I believe that I can win many majors, not just the one. Uh, and obviously when I hit that winning double, it's, it just sunk in, and hey, one to the next one now. This one, I've got it in my hand, but you can forget about it now. I'll be ready for the next one. Winning it is one thing, but winning it in front of your family, like you've done as well, the, the tears were almost there, there on stage. Was, did, was it hard to fight them back? It was. Um, obviously, having them near travel, the travel all over the watches. You get my uncle and my sponsor, my manager, the, the travel every single way. And my mum comes, well, if, I, if I let her come, uh, <laughs> I don't let her to many. And you, you've probably heard her before you've seen her, uh, but hey, it's just nice to have them here. And, to win it in front of them, it, it means a lot. We've seen what this tournament has done in the last two years for Johnny and Joe. I know you were hesitant to speak about it before. Have they told you anything yet? And are you hoping for the call? Are you expecting it after the last two years? Um, I haven't heard nothing. I would, I would take it. Um, I'll be ready for whatever thrown at us. That's for sure. Um, who knows? To to get that dream, playing in Newcastle in front of my fans. It would, it would mean the world, but um, hey, like I say, I'll, I'll be ready for whatever. I know you said you'd take it if it comes. Would, would, would you be disappointed if it didn't, being it has the last two years? Um, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say I'd be disappointed, but the, the only thing that would disappoint us is um, the last two years. It's been given to the winner, um, and that's probably the only thing that would disappoint us. But like I say. I think I could be ready for it. There's, there's an extra gear to kick in, so I'll be, I'll be ready for whatever whatever I've thrown at it. Chris, many congratulations, mate. Cheers, Thank well. you. Yeah. That's all the hard work you put in down the years is for moments like this. How rewarding is it to win in your first final on TV? Yeah, obviously following uh, following Ross Smith, he done it when he beat me in the Euro semi-final and went on to beat Mike in the final. So yeah, just moments like this don't come here come often and. I'm just gonna enjoy. How much of a springboard could this be now going into the rest of the year? It opens, it opens lots of doors. Um, like I touched on before, you, you've seen what it's given in the last last two years. There's been opportunities for the Premier League. Um, it's just nice to be winning, not playing my best yet, but winning, not playing your best is a good sign, and I'm happy. I'm so happy. Continuing that winning feeling in the as well as a real, real buzz in the area at the moment. There is. Um, I don't think this is quite big to, to take around uh, St James's Park yet, but uh, hey, North East is flying, not just the darts, the football. Hey, we're living the dream. Obviously, you mentioned you had that taste of the Premier League as a player a couple of years ago. How much did it mean to Brown, you know, maybe get that again? It would be unbelievable. Um, best, best night of my darting, darting life playing in front of all them. Um, to be honest, I can't can't really remember much of the game. I obviously played Mensa, getting the draw. I think I was cruising at the start of it, and um, obviously manager Mensa changed, played phenomenal for the last five six legs, and I scraped the draw. But um, if I get that opportunity, I'll I'll give it my all to make sure I'm, I do well. Cheers, man. Yeah, Chris, uh, congratulations being the Masters champion. 100 to 1 at the start of the tournament. You must be pleased to be the champion. 100 to 1, is that it? It was, yeah. <laughs> no, um, yeah, I'm delighted. Um, I believed I can. I come here to win. I believed I could win. Even, even looked at the draw and had probably the hardest running of them all. And I uh, say so you've got to beat the best to be the best. And I think uh, you couldn't uh, give us a much harder, harder draw to, uh, to get through. But you looked in control throughout that match. You know, did you feel that you were in control? Um, I think there was a part of the game where I thought I'm not going to lose now, and then I messed on, and he took the one four four. I think I left what was it 47 or 47. 
and he took the 144. I said to myself, it's going, this is going, because he's one of the best treble 18 hitters and double 18 hitters, and I'm thinking, please don't go that way, just to give us a chance. But once the first one went in, I thought, just move on to the next leg. I, I knew it was going, and I just, uh, it's, hard, it's hard to get your mind, mindset back for the, for the next leg. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I didn't do too bad. And we saw your mum down there in tears. You must be proud to win the tournament in front of your family. Yeah, it's, it's nice. Like I said, these have um, just travelled all over to watch us for the past few years. Um, my sponsor, my manager, and my mum. My mum doesn't come to many. I, I only let her to a certain one. It's normally the world's, and I thought I felt a little bit sorry for her, uh, so I, I let her come today. And they travelled down this morning. And I won it in front of you. Of course, you are the Kazoo Masters champion. Congratulations. Yes,